Welcome back to another Crafter Tech video. Today we got the ultimate golden carrot and golden apple crafter. This one has all the tech you would come to expect from something on my channel. We have recipe protection so that the recipe will never run out. We have output protection so that the output will never overflow. And we have uh, per fairly perfect 2x hopper speed timing. Let's turn the machine on here and take a peek in the main crafter. It's blinking so fast that we can't even see what's happening. So this one's making golden carrots. Turn this one on and this one's making golden apples. As you can see, they're rolling out of there pretty fast. There's a slight pause between each cycle, but it makes them in batches of eight decompacting either the ingots or the gold blocks are getting decompacted and take a look at the machine you can actually see it from here on this side better with all the protections in place this clock just times the top clock the top clock just delivers the pulses the middle fader here as you can see it fades out and then this starts again and that's how we get our perfect little timing the rest of this wiring is just special features for controlling, making this stop. So if I go ahead and give myself golden carrots, golden carrots, 1728. I'm going to have to do this a couple times. Let's do it again. Only need about 500 of them now. No. Okay, we're almost there. Botched this up pretty good. So when this gets to signal strength 14, which is in about two more stacks here, the machine will just automatically shut off. You'll see this redstone wire kick on here in just a second. Any second now. About one more stack and plus 18 and then when that kicks on the machine will stop here it comes as soon as that hits 18 boom and if we take some out of there well it should be 18 we'll see that it gets just 18 and then we can just keep taking those out and it'll make more we can completely disable the machine so it doesn't do that. I'll throw these out. Oh, wait. All right. So the machine is 5 by 8 by 10, with there being six blocks between the lowest portion of the machine. And then uh, I'm going to let that fill up. There's six blocks between this floor and the bottom, so if you want to make sure of that, there's going to be six blocks, and then that's going to be so you can actually do a quick measurement like this right here. You can see that that's six blocks. There's also two blocks, so we're going to be starting from that portion. Break these out, and I'm going to stop this machine. All right, so over here, we're going to jump right into the tutorial. If you want to gather the items seen in my inventory, you will need these barrels. Uh, you will also need a bunch of shovels. You'll need about four shulker boxes of shovels or roughly 108 shovels. So you're going to need a lot of shovels. Make sure you grab all the shovels that you need. You're going to need a bunch of these shovels right here, 108 of them. All right let's get started you'll start off by building a little three by two platform and then place a comparator and put that on subtract mode and then followed by a repeater and dust all this up swing around to the other side of the comparator and then just place some blocks just like that and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to build this out just like that we're going to place dust here a repeater on two ticks very important that that be on two ticks and then we're going to go ahead and place a torch on the side of this block and a torch on top of that block 
So you should have something looking like this. Go ahead on the torch on the side of the block. We're going to place a solid block on top of there. And then we're going to place two solid blocks on the side of that repeater. Be sure not to change that repeater. Make sure that repeater is still on two ticks. We're going to place another comparator here. And from there, we're going to put that comparator on subtract mode. And we're going to place a piece of dust right here. That dust should be lit up from the torch. Next up, we need to get our signal strength. We need signal strength 7 for this one. And you're going to take and fill up a barrel to this amount, and that'll be signal strength 7. So that's 9 plus 3. So that's 12 shovels in there. Alrighty. We're going to come around, and we're going to face the other way. We're going to aim at the front of that comparator and place three blocks. Four blocks, I'm sorry, excuse me. And then place three more blocks and a solid block on top of there. Grab your comparators. You should be standing right about here. And place a comparator. Place a comparator going back that way, just like that. And then we're going to put dust on all of this. Really quickly, we need to go ahead and throw in a torch right there. You should see some things blink, and it's going to start blinking. We can stop that by... Grabbing a lever, placing it on the side of this block and powering it. And that's just temporary so that the clock doesn't run while we build the rest of the machine. Okay, let's get the things that we need. Swinging back around to this other torch, we're going to place a solid block on top of it. A solid block on top of that repeater. And a solid block there. And then we're going to staircase up and make a little staircase going around the edge of this build so just go like this bust out these temporary blocks and then place dust all along the little staircase next up we're going to place a solid block there a solid block there and a solid block there should have something looking like this next up we're going to place a comparator put that comparator on subtract mode get our signal strength source it's going to be 10 here all right there's our signal strength source and as you can see that's going to be 18 shovels for signal strength 10. make sure you got that next up we're going to build a little strip of blocks coming out just like this And that's just a two by, and then we got this little piece on the end here. We're going to place the target block here and here. We're going to break this temporary block and then come down, and you should be floating right about here on the side of this thing, and place three more solid blocks leading up to this target block. And then place dust all the way back and a torch right there, and it should look just like this. Coming back up here to the top, we're going to place a comparator reading from that target block, and then we're going to place another comparator facing the other way. We're going to put dust everywhere up here, except for this block, and then we are all good to go. We're done and dusted here. Let's continue on in our journey. Signal strength 9. And signal strength 14 those are used for the output so i don't need those yet we're going to place a dropper facing this way and they're going to swing around the other direction and face a crafter <clears throat> and then we're going to put the crafter in the middle in this crafter we're going to block every slot except for the first slot this is the one that's going to either decompact our ingots or blocks into the nuggets or ingots <laughs> depending on what we have this crafting <clears throat> We are almost done here. Let's get our hoppers. We need to do a hopper in the top of this and a hopper in the top of that. Swing around and do a hopper into the side and a hopper pointing into that hopper. So a hopper into the side and a hopper pointing into that hopper. So you should have a hopper set up looking like this. Looking really good. We're going to come around to the back of these hoppers and we're going to start doing our recipe protection. 
we're going to use buffers inside of the crafter and the hoppers to make sure that the recipe never breaks. And how we do that is we just build a little setup like this. Just a little setup off of that hopper. We're going to put a comparator. We're going to put some dust. And we're going to put a torch. We're going to go around to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. So we need a block. Another solid block up and on this side we need to make sure that this dust doesn't connect with this dust so we're going to place a solid block on top of that dust and make sure that that doesn't happen next up place our comparator and then do dust dust followed by a torch and we should be looking something like this now, this next part's a little bit complicated i had to use some weird wiring techniques to make sure that we were getting where we needed to go place a solid block right there and a repeater right there that's going to power that fader right there see where this is leading okay now we can go back and we're going to continue to build the rest of this come down i mean come away from those by two blocks and then flip around and place some repeaters Have those repeaters going in the solid box and then come down two from those repeaters and just make a strip of blocks and we're also going to use a temporary block just like that place another repeater right here it'll be looking like this and then we're going to be placing dust all along that that dust should be let up disabling the clock from running we can now break our temporary level because we have our recipe protection in okay we're about done here we're going to go back over here to the front we're going to grab our chest we're going to place our chest here and here and then we're going to place our output chest coming off of our output chest we're going to do some funky business here Place three blocks just like this next to our output chest. Place a comparator reading the chest, a comparator pointing into the side of that, and then that's where we're going to give it signal strength 14. This one's filled up with 26 shovels. That's all the way, minus one slot. Anytime that this chest gets the 14 signal strength, the power will be allowed to come through. We're going to come and we're going to go down over here just like this. And we're going to build just those three blocks and then a little staircase block down here. We're going to take our staircase and lead it up to this redstone wire. And we're going to have a comparator on subtract mode. And we're going to place two more blocks, another comparator, and we're going to get our final signal strength of signal strength 9. And that's not 18, but 17 shovels in here. So just make sure you have that many shovels in this barrel. You can break that temporary block. And then we're just going to take dust and put it all along here. All right. We are all done and dusted here. I just want to place the floor and the carpet so now we can do our final bit of the floor and the carpets just place glass oh wait not here we need a lever here our main disabling lever oh place a lever there and power that lever now the machine is completely disabled and we'll be able to load it when I get done here in just a second so we would just continue placing floor like this and then grab your carpet and put your carpets everywhere here so we don't have to look at much redstone. We can only see the machine in operation. You can't hide that back part. I don't even know how you would begin to hide it. <laughs> could you do? You could place a block here. You could place solid blocks there place trap doors but they'll clap anyway that is all we got time for today thanks for checking out the tutorial i guess i'll show you how to load the machine <laughs>
that's not all we got time for. So now we want to load the machine. And how you do that is first I'm going to throw everything out of my inventory and I'm going to grab some ingots and some apples. All right. Usually when I load the machine, I like to put eight apples and then eight of each of the recipe in there. Next up, what I can do is I can get some apples and I can toss those apples in here. Oh, first let me fill up the dropper. Now I'm going to toss the apples in here. Do that again. And then let's get the uh, gold blocks. Let's toss some of those in there. We still have to wait for the recipe buffer to fill up. But I can go ahead and we'll fill that up ourselves. So what we we'll do is the bottom hopper. We just need to fill that. And then this bottom hopper need to fill that as well. All right. So those should all be lit up. Now if we start the machine, we'll see what we start getting carrots. Or uh, apples. Thank you for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the section below. This is your boy JD with another one.